Shalom, Akim, all praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah by Hashem Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. All right. Uh, once again, Shalom told you sincere Akim out there of the hopeful elect. All right. Because that's who these lessons are for. For the elect of the nation of Israel. All right. Because that's the only ones who's going to get it. Those are the only people that's going to receive salvation in the day of the Lord. Okay. And um, the entitlement of this video is going to be. The, this word shall inspire you, all right? And the word, of course, is talking about our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, which I'm going to bring that out in the scriptures, okay? Um, you know, what shall it inspire you to do? It shall inspire you to be faithful unto him and to do this work, you know, to teach this word as long as you have been given this word. You know, if the Lord have opened up your spirit and allowed you to receive this word, then you should be inspired to go out there and teach this word prophesy all right you got a lot of guys who are who know the truth okay and they're in in, in their deception they believe that they're in the truth just because you know the truth doesn't mean that you're in the truth all right and we see a lot of israelite groups you know through their leaders leading them to the damnation and destruction all right who has these people misled believing that they're in the truth when in fact they're not really in the truth just because they know the truth meaning they know that they're the Israelites, okay? They know that the so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, because they've been taught that they are the Israelites, they know and understand that. But it's more than just knowing you're an Israelite, okay? You have to understand prophecy, okay? You have to understand these laws, statutes, and commandments. You have to be familiar with the history, all right? So it runs deep, man. And this word is a living, is, is, is a, a living spirit, all right? And it, it, just, it doesn't just stay stagnated towards one year. You know, like you always hear the apostles say, you have these 90, 1992 Israelites, you know, guys who never grew in his truth because it's all about growth at the end of the day. All right? Okay, and that's how uh, you can tell who's a man of the Lord. You know, brothers, brothers that are being edified, who are growing, who are being built up in the spirit, who are faithful and continuing on, the publishing of this word, the word of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah. All right? You know, you have to be up on current events and filter everything through these scriptures. Remain circumspect. Okay? So this word shall inspire you if you are a man of the Lord. This is John chapter 1, verse 1. It says, In the beginning was the word, and the word was with the Most High, and the word was a power, or the word was God. All right, or was a God, you know, if you have under, understanding, because the word is talking about our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah, who was the, who was the uh, first spirit ever created by the Heavenly Father, all right? The only, the only spirit, actually, that was created by the Heavenly Father, and Yahweh Shah went on to create everything else in this world, okay? All the spirits came after, after him, all right? And that's why we're, uh, we're forever in debt, to Yahweh Shai, man, because he was the one that was there in the beginning with the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. All right. It says the same was in the beginning with Yahweh. All right. Talking about the Most High, the Heavenly Father. Okay. When you jump down to the 14th verse, it further proves that the word is talking about our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. Uh, John 1 and 14. And the word was made flesh. Okay. How did the Lord come into this world? All right. Through conception all right through the through mary con, con, con receiving uh seed from joseph through the act of sex okay all right wasn't no immaculate conception like they teach in the churches mary wasn't a, it wasn't a virgin birth all right it was joseph and mary engaging in sex and our lord was conceived he was made into he was made in the flesh okay all right he had a mother he had a father a physical father, all right? And, um, and of course, the spiritual father is Yahweh, the Most High, all right? Which is the father of us all in all reality, okay? But it reads, it reads on to say, And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the father, full of grace and truth, okay? So our Lord, he basically, he, he's the only begotten of the heavenly father, all right. See, a lot is a misconception in these churches that they believe that the Most High 
Yahweh, which they don't call him Yahweh, they just call him God, all right? Or some people might call him Yahweh. You know, they have all these different titles uh, that they that they uh, put on the creator or the maker, all right? Whose name is Yahweh in the Hebrew, okay? And they believe that he created everything in this world. Nah, he created Yahweh Shah, his son, and gave the blueprint to Yahweh Shah to create everything that exists in this world today, okay? And we know he's the only begotten of the father because when we read the testimony of him, it it it, it, it expresses and in, in, in it uh and it bears witness to the miracles that he's done, that Yahweh Shah has done, okay? All right? And how, how also how familiar he was with the word because the word was spoken of him. Okay, when it when it came to the top scholars and 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 uh the scribes and the Pharisees, men who were who were most familiar with the law, Yahweh Shah used to cut them all. He used to cut them all with the scriptures, with the word. Okay. So we know he was he was the word. Okay. Uh this is the book of Psalms, chapter 40, verse 7. It says, Then said I, Lo, I come in the volume of the book, it is written of me. Okay, and that's talking about our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah. Because the Holy Bible is, is, is all about Yahweh Shah, man. It's all about Yahweh Shah. All right. You know, you got people out there, these clowns out there that call themselves Israelites, they call themselves brothers in the faith. All right. That's um sitting there trying to downplay or, or discredit Yahweh Shah, man. You know, trying to say that we you know we ain't supposed to worship Yahweh Shah. You know, he's just our big brother. You know, they try to belittle him. Okay, all right. When the whole book from the from the from Genesis to Revelation is all about the accounts of Yahweh Shai, man. It's all about Yahweh Shai at the end of the day. Okay, without Yahweh Shai, we wouldn't have the understanding of the Bible. We wouldn't understand the mysteries of this word if it wasn't for him. Okay, it tells you that in the book of Revelations, man. This is uh John six and sixty three. It is the Spirit that quickeneth. All right, meaning it makes you alive, full of life, okay? It says the flesh profiteth nothing. Yeah, the flesh profiteth nothing, okay? Because the flesh is, is mortal, all right? We, we, everyone in this flesh, we can die, man. You can die tomorrow. You can die in the next hour. You can die in the next minute, okay? Because the flesh is weak at the end of the day. It's subject to sin. It's, it's, it's in subjection to sin, Okay? And sin is, or the trespassing of the laws is the reason why we die. That's the wages of sin is death, as it tells you in the book of Romans. All right. It says, it is the spirit that quickeneth. Okay. And what spirit is that speaking of? That's talking about the spirit of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah, through this word. All right. Through the Holy Bible, the understanding of the Holy Scriptures. It says, the flesh profiteth nothing. Okay. Yeah, the flesh profiteth nothing. You got... You know, guys who, who basically are uplifted with pride, you know, over, over the, the beauty of their flesh. Guys going to the to the to the gym, sculpting their bodies, you know, being bodybuilders, athletes, or what have you. And you know, these guys think that they are basically invincible, man. Okay? They think that they're invincible. But the flesh profit if nothing. At the end of the day, as time goes by, your body's gonna decay. Because we're all mortals at the end of the day. All right. It says the words that I speak unto you. They are spirit. And they are life. Okay. So it's the word that the Lord speaking, speaks unto you. Which is the words found written in the Holy Bible. They are spirit. They are alive. Okay. They are alive. It says they are spirit and they are life. All right. Yeah. Because the righteous laws, statutes and commandments that Yahweh Shah has given unto us. That's what that if if a man is able to keep him, you will be blessed with eternal life. Okay? You will be blessed with eternal life. You know, and the mysteries that was given unto the servants of the Lord, his prophets, to understand what's going to take place in the future and prepare yourself for salvation. The 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 the, the what's the word I want to say? Not concept, but the preparation of it, all right comes from understanding the Bible. All right? It comes it comes from it, it comes from the instructions given unto you in the scriptures, in which that was given unto us by our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah. All right? 
This is the book of Luke, chapter 12, verse 43. It says, Blessed is that servant whom his Lord, when he cometh, uh, shall find so doing. Yeah, what, and what is that servant supposed to be doing? That servant is supposed to be teaching this word, man. All right? That servant is supposed to be pushing this word, going out there on the highways and the byways, teaching this word, man. Okay? Uh, gathering more fruit to the flock. Righteous fruit, man. Okay? Unlike... You know, them, them other groups out there in Israel, in Israel who was basically trying to attract niggas in the world, man, into their congregation for money, for the most part, in vain glory, popularity, clout chasing, okay? They're not doing it in, in sincerity, man, because they're concerned with the flock and really care about the flock, because if that was the case, they wouldn't be telling the uh, members of their congregation to go get jabbed up, and they wouldn't be downplaying on the MOTB, which is the mark. All right, it's claiming that it's not the RFID microchip. When you have people in the world of the heathen nations that even know and have enough understanding um, to, to, to know that the RFID microchip is the mark, okay? All right, and more importantly, you got these, these, these guys who changed their doctrine. You know, back in the days, they teach the name of the Lord as being Yahweh while Yahweh Shah, and now all of a sudden, we don't, there's, there's no remembrance of what the name is we don't know the name of the lord all right you can call the name you can call the lord anything you want to call him okay and then you have god saying other nations can be saved in particular the nation of edom all right the lord ain't dealing with these guys man they're not doing the work not in truth not in sincerity why because the lord ain't dealing with them man the lord is not dealing with them you know they're all about making money all right and they're all about vain glory man you know they're big on on numbers in 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 how they look in the eyes of the masses, okay? They're not concerned with the heavenly Father and His Son, because if they was, then they'll be doing the work in truth and sincerity, man. Okay? It says it says of a truth I say unto you that He will make Him ruler over all that He has. Yeah, and that's the men that are diligent, man. That's going out there teaching His word, man. All right? That's breaking down the scriptures, man. That's studying and doing research. Okay, and not twisting up the doctrine, not changing the doctrine. Okay, that's proclaiming the name or public publicizing the names of the heavenly Father and His Son, Yahweh, Wah, Yahweh Shah. All right, and you can see the great example of that with the men of Great Millstone, starting with the apostles and the elders. Okay, and then to the rest of you brothers who are a part of GMS and, and affiliated with GMS. Okay, that teach the same doctrine that we teach. All right. The Lord said he's going to make us rulers over everything that he has. And we know that the next world to come is going to be Yahweh Shah's kingdom. So we're going to be the joint heirs. Lord willing, we stay in the faith and stay on point, stay on track and do what we, what's required of us to do. According to the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. It says, but, and if that servant say in his heart, my Lord delayeth his coming and shall begin to beat the men's servants and maidens and to eat and drink and to be a drunken. Right? And that's what you got, got guys like in the ISUPK, guys in the IUIC, all right, uh GOCC, okay? They're beating the men servants and the maid in the maidens. All right? How are they beating them? By not teaching them the truth. Okay? You know, putting uh charging the uh thousands of dollars for a plate at the Passover, okay? Uh they 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 um they getting double double types 20 percent types all right putting pressure on these people man or, or, on their congregation man all right doing the same bullshit that these pastors in the churches do man you know basically extorting the uh the congregation of their flock man you know in a, in a regular church you know that plate goes around and because i've been in a baptist church before man okay that plate goes around around the damn church 24 7 man and they expect people to put money in there and in the, in, in the subconscious, in these people's subconscious mind, they believe that if they put, put, keep putting money in that plate, that their sins can be forgiven. Okay? All right? And you got people that are Israelites playing on that same concept, man. They're playing on that same concept. You have members of their congregations exposing them, man. All right? Charging hundreds and hundreds of dollars for a garment. They, I mean, come on, man. They 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 they're beating the uh, the servants 
in their congregation, man. All right, because the leaders of them, right? Let me read that scripture again. It says, but if, but, and if that servant say in his heart, my Lord delayeth his coming, you know, and that's why these guys don't teach prophecy because they don't believe that the Lord is coming back. And in fact, they don't want the Lord to come back no time soon, man, because they're enjoying the, 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 the benefits that they're reaping from ripping these people off, man. All right. It says, and shall begin to beat the men servants and maidens. All right. You know, they, they, they got people in their congregation that they take advantage of. Okay. They take advantage of and they rip them off. You know, they, I mean, they rob them out of thousands of dollars, man. We've heard accounts on that, man. Okay. It says, and shall begin to beat the men servants and maidens and to eat and drink and to be drunken. And that's what you see the leaders of these congregations doing, man. Right? Like, look at General Yohanna, fat ass, man. Okay? That dude is that that dude is clearly a demon, man. He's he looks like he's eating good. Look at Nate Satan, man. All right? Nate Satan, well, right now he's all jacked up. He's not really showing himself because the Lord is judging his ass, man. He better get it, get his act together, man. Okay? Before the Lord take him out, man. He better repent. You know, and all you all you clowns, all right, you Israelite leaders out there. That have that that have uh that have came against the Lord. You, you all of you better repent, man. You all better repent, okay? Because judgment is coming, man. All right. But these guys are eating and drinking and you know traveling all all over the place and you know put, uh, putting videos on Patreon and guys doing reality shows and you know they, they you know getting uh super chats and this that and the third on a live stream. These guys ain't shit, man. These guys are fake. They're a bunch of phonies, man. A bunch of goddamn jokers. All right. And the real man of the Lord is going is is is, is not going to be fooled by that, man. All right. It reads on to say, the Lord of that servant will come in a day when he looketh not for him, and at an hour when he is not aware, it will cut him asunder and will appoint his portion with the unbelievers. Okay. See these guys, man. They just because they run around with these Israelite garments on. You know, they got the 12 tribe sign, you know, um, you know, some of, some of them go as far as even calling on the name of the Lord. All right. Hey, if they ain't doing this work in truth and sincerity, man, if they not prophesying, okay, and warning the people as the Lord commanded us to do, then when Yahweh Shah comes back, they gonna, them, the, Yahweh Shah is going to, he's going to appoint them a portion with the unbelievers, meaning what? They're going to die right along with the two thirds. With the two-thirds of Israel, because all in all along, they were initially part of the two-thirds anyway. Okay, oh, all right. So they being them, they had sitting there deceiving their congregation. In all reality, they're deceiving themselves, man. Because they ain't gonna make it. When that time comes, when when the time for deliverance come or the time for judgment to come on planet Earth, them guys ain't gonna make it, man. Just because you know you were Israelite doesn't mean you're gonna make it. All right. It says, and that servant which knew, which knew his Lord's will and prepared not himself, neither did according to his will, shall be beaten with many stripes. So a lot of them guys, they ain't doing the will of the Lord. All winter, you had some groups that didn't even go out, man. And they do this annually, man. You know, when, it, when the weather gets too cold, they don't go out there and do the work. All right? When, when, when it's too hot, they don't go out there and do the work. When it comes to high holy days, and particularly the Passover, they inviting uh, two third members and guys who believe in different religions in, into a holy feast, man. Into a holy feast. Okay. Guys who believe in Egyptology, guys who think that they're Africans, you know, guys who who who, who, are, who are into all all kind of heathenistic uh, religions, man. You know, all of that African BS, man. All right, and they allowing these guys to eat at their Passover. That, that's not doing the will of the Lord, man. And these guys know the will of the Lord. A lot of them go back to the old one West, man. All right? So a lot of them guys came up under High Priest Ariah. A lot of them guys came up under King Masha. Okay? And look at them, man. They, they just basically doing their own thing, man. All right? And the Lord ain't going to have mercy on them when that time comes. They're going to be beaten with many stripes. It reads on to say, but he that knew not and did commit things worthy of stripes shall be beaten with few stripes. Talking about these guys in the world, man, the two thirds of Israel that just don't know no better. You know, they don't know that they're Israelites. They don't know uh, the name of the Lord, okay? They don't know his law, statutes, and commandments, all right? They don't, they don't believe in this word, 
So they just, you know, conducting their daily lives, uh, being a part of this world. They're going to be beaten with few stripes because it was, and, and, they, and they were better off not knowing the truth anyway. They were better off not knowing the truth if the Lord didn't appoint that, give, it didn't uh, appoint that to them to know. Okay. But you guys who, who knew the truth and didn't do the will of the Lord, that's why the Lord said you're going to be beaten with many stripes. All right? It says, um, for, un, for unto whom so much is given of him shall be much required. And to whom men have committed much of him will they ask for the more. All right? And that's why, hey, that's why the, the apostles at Great Millstone, that's why they're so diligent, man, in this truth. And that's why they're... they're that, that, that's why they're on point when it comes to looking over the brotherhood, man. When it comes to looking over the different camps of Great Millstone and, you know, keeping brothers in order, man. All right? You know? Constantly, you know, watching over us, man. Okay? And and, 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 and it's not to be uh, taken as, as the apostles are being tyrants or anything like that. They're doing what they have to do through the Spirit to keep us on the right path to salvation to please Yahweh Shah, so when the day of judgment comes, we can, Lord willing, be delivered, man. All right? This is 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 10. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heaven shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burnt up. Okay? Yeah, we know that's how the Lord is coming back, to destroy America, man, and destroy different, different uh, countries on the planet Earth. All right, the so-called white man as a whole, the nation of Edom, to, to take them out of power. It says, seeing that all these things shall be dissolved, and we can see it's going on, man. You watch the news, you see the crisis in Ukraine, you constantly hear about things. Uh, if it ain't Ukraine, there's some shit going on in Saudi Arabia or Iran or Syria, somewhere in the Middle East, or some tension going on in the Korean Peninsula. It's always some shit, wars and rumors of wars going on in the world, all right? Uh, tragedies happening, man. Madness, racial tension. So we we see we 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 see that all of these things are are taking place, man. Which is the signs of the times that the Lord told us to look out for, man. All right. It says, seeing that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought you to be in all holy conversation and godliness? All right. Yeah, that's what we're supposed to be, man. In holy conversation and godliness, man. All right. Meaning what? The Lord's statutes and commandments. The prophecies, the history, all right, the Holy Bible in its entirety is supposed to constantly be on your mind. Okay? When you watch movies or watch TV or watch whatever things that mo the majority of the people in the world take for entertainment, you're supposed to extract from it, from what you can out of it, and how it relates to the Bible and things that you were taught. Okay? Things that you were taught through the spirit of Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shah. All right? See, we don't view. We don't view things the way the world views things, man. Okay? We view things all according to the word of Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shah. All right? And we're supposed to be in all holy, com holy conversations, making these videos, going out there teaching on the highways and the byways. All right? In your, in, in your idle time, these are the things that we supposed, you're supposed to be doing, man. All right? These are the things you're supposed to be doing. It says, looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of, the, of, of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shah, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. All right? Yeah, man. So, hey, when the Lord comes back, he's going to destroy everything, man. He's going to take the so-called white man out of his rulership. That's the heavens. The so-called white man is in heaven. All right? And his heaven is going to be on fire when Yahweh Shah comes back. All right? Uh, this is Revelation chapter 3, verse 15. It says, I know thy works, that thou art neither cold nor hot. I would though we're cold or hot okay yeah so the lord said he knows your works that thou are neither cold nor hot i would that i would thou were cold or hot that either you remain either you don't be in this truth or if you're going to be in this truth be be on fire in this truth man okay be diligent in this truth it says so then because thou art lukewarm and neither cold nor hot i will spew thee out of my mouth yeah, you can't have one foot in the world and one foot in the truth, man. All right? And be and, and, and be on some, some nonchalant, lazy, not growing, not being edified, not being built up, okay, through the spirit, okay? And it's truth. You got to grow, man. You got to grow. You no? Know? 
you, you brothers been in this thing for years, man. You got to come up on a level, man. All right? You got to gradually uh, uh, elevate to the next level. A graduation process, man. Okay? And it doesn't stop, man. It doesn't stop. All right? Not until our Lord and Savior comes back and deliver us, man. So if you lukewarm, the Lord says he's going to spew you out of his mouth, man. Meaning you're going to be destroyed. All right? So this word is supposed to inspire you, man. To go out there, speak, teach, do videos, do what, do what you have to do through the spirit. To please Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, so Lord willing, you can be delivered, man. You're supposed to be inspired, all right? So I'm going to end this video on that note. I hope you've been, brothers been edified. I'm going to say Shalom while we're rocking to the next one. Shalom.